What's up you guys and welcome to the next episode of Skyward Sword on RTC Online. On the last episode, we gained access to the next dungeon where the flame is located thanks to helping out the water dragon. And now as you can see I'm going to Skyloft right now because I have a full rupee bag. And I thought, you know what, instead of going into this dungeon with uh... Because I know that in dungeons there are a lot of rupees to collect and they would be worth nothing if I have a full wallet. So I'm going to go to the bazaar right now and spend a bunch of my rupees. And not for something that, not for things that don't matter. I'm actually gonna see if they have a new shield. I'm gonna see if I can upgrade my bomb bag or something, stuff like that. You know, useful necessities that I should have bought a long time ago. But now that I'm coming close to the end of the game, I want to make sure that I'm prepared for the unexpected. So yeah, the base are we go. This isn't a detour because I'm gonna go back. Um, I'm gonna go back to the dungeon in the same episode. Usually detours last an entire episode, but no, I'm not doing that this time. It's a semi-detour. Oh, this guy has something to say. <gasps> Whoa! New shield! That's a sacred shield. As you might surmise from a name, it can handle all variety of attacks. Fire? Not a sweat. Electricity? No painful zaps. Plus, it'll automatically repair itself when it sustains damage. It's a little fragile, but that shouldn't be a problem for one as talented and agile as yourself. It'll cost a 500 rupees. It's an investment, but an excellent one. Yes! Win! The mystical power within the shield allows it to repair itself over time. The shield's low durability means it breaks easily, but it deflects fire, electric, and curse attacks. The customer is always right! I've taken the liberty of placing your purchases in your pouch. Press minus to open it, then equip what you need. That's kind of creepy, but get away from me. What do you have to say? I've got something new in stock for you, friend. Oh, I already bought it. Thank you for telling me. No, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Now that's equipped. That looks awesome. Okay, what else can I buy? Wait a minute, I have an empty bottle. I should buy a potion. Boy, I have a new potion for you. I call it the air potion. One delicious gulp of this elixir, and you'll find that while you are underwater, your oxygen oxygen gauge will drop much more slowly. You'll be like a little fish, young man, and the price is more than generous, if I do say so myself. If you're interested in a bottle, young man, just examine the blue cauldron, and I'll come running. Should I get that? Let's see, what do I have? I have a fairy bottle, so I'm good if I... Re mm. Air is really easy to come by when you're underwater. I don't need an air potion. Let me just get one of these. That's a vat of heart potion. Drink this, dear, and it'll replenish eight hearts for 20 rupees. Let's do it. So we have a fairy and a potion. I think we're ready for this next dungeon. And we got a new shield as well. Let's see what else we could buy. Uh, I don't want to mix anything right now. Okay, that's a... Those are arrows. I think that's foreshadowing from what I'm going to get. That's another rupee bag, I believe. Oh, it's a small seed satchel. Um, no, no thank you. <laughs> don't be mad at me, I'm sorry. I just don't really need more nuts. What about, no, not again. Ah, I meant to click on the other bag. No, thank you. Come on, skip the dialogue faster. Okay, this is what I'm interested in. It's a small bomb bag, you can carry five additional bombs. Uh, okay. Win. Five extra bombs. You're welcome. Okay, he put it in my bag again without asking. It's kind of creepy again. But look at that, we got a new shield. I feel proud of myself. I wonder if we can upgrade anything. Hey, kid. How's Scrapper treating you? Anything to upgrade today? Upgrade. You got it. These are all the items I have that I can upgrade right now that you have. Um... Hmm. I'm interested. Improve your beetle with a burst of speed. Upgrade! Whatever. It could go faster. That's awesome. Wait, I need treasure? Ah, never mind. I think I'm done here. I'm done with the semi-detour. Alright, see you later, Gondo. You've been a help. Somewhat. Alright, out the bazaar, and back to the dungeon we go. Let's find a diving spot! Wait, should we go to Beetle's Flying Shop? 
Hmm. Nah. I already know what he has in there, and he probably hasn't changed stock. And I have only 130 rupees, so I probably wouldn't be able to buy anything anyway with his crazy prices. Alright, Crimson Loftwing, take me. Woohoo! I feel all progressive with this new shield. I couldn't find the right word for it. I feel stronger. There, that's a better word. Go down! There we go. We're on our way. Motion controls are really hurting my arm. There we go. Back to Faron. And we can land right in front of that waterfall. Then we just gotta dive upward and we're back in the dungeon. Simple. Descend to this area? Yes. We're only five minutes in and we're already doing some pretty great stuff. Let's hope we can make this episode worthwhile. Let's go! Lake Floria! It's called the Ancient Cistern, if I believe. If I remember correctly. Alright, let's go up. Ah! That was almost the first try. Damn it! Ah, oh, God. I really hope there isn't much swimming in this ancient cistern or whatever. Okay. Yeah! No! Come on! Ugh. God. What the freaking motion controls? God, just let me use my analog stick. Why am I moving left? Why are my motion controls so freaking off right now? Can I just get on this thing? Oh, well that's way easier. <sighs> you guys, just lay away from the comments. <laughs> I know I'm bad at this game. This is a blind playthrough, I know I am. Don't tell me how bad I am. Alright, Ancient's his turn. Let's go this way first. Yay, more rupees! And now I can actually carry them. It's awesome. 800 rupees is quite the bag to fill, but I'm sure we could do it by the end of this dungeon. Not making any promises, though. Look at this shield. It's awesome. It's all purple. My second favorite color. Oh, shit. teddy -a! Oh, hey, look. A jelly blob. Okay, I don't have any bugs, but I got a lot of other stuff. Alright, rupees. I'm digging it. I hope this is the right... What? Huh? Do I have any... Looks like I'm gonna need a new upgrade to get over there. Okay. Well, that's where we're not going. Oh, I hate swimming. Whoa, a silver rupee! Jesus fucking Christ. What are silver rupees? Is it a trap? <sighs> Maybe we gotta dash to it. Okay, it is a trap. Uh, let's see. Is there anywhere we could go underneath? No, not in there. Oh, that looks like a place where we can go. But first... No, we can't reach it from there. Ow. It's just a lily pad thing. Calm down. Oh, there's a lever we can pull down. Wait, what are... Oh, I can't hop on it, it's upside down. Maybe... Okay. Let's go down. These fucking stupid controls in. No, that didn't work. Oh, wait a minute. I know what we can do. Okay, so... It's gonna take a while, but I think I can do it. I'm gonna try and dolphin dive upward into that... Yeah, I can't reach that. Whatever. Fuck this. I... Uh... I don't know where to go. 
I mean, seriously, this is the first room of the dungeon, and I'm already fucking lost. I'm probably just really bad at this game. It's probably, like, one of the easiest dungeons. But then again, this fucking design in the dungeon is being so damn clear. Fucking bullshit. At least it's not Lanayru. We're gonna need a key. But I don't know where to find a goddamn key. Carved in the great statue are inscriptions of gratitude. They reveal the secret order of this temple. First the back, then the rear, then the back of the right hand, and then finally the back of the left hand. What does that mean? I don't know. Um, um, maybe we could just go around. Nope, it's just water everywhere! WATER! I don't know where to go. And I think I'm gonna quit this game and never play it again. Oh, that was cool. Okay, I'm not quitting. Let's go. Ooh, this dungeon. I don't like it at all. I don't like any dungeons in this game, to be honest. They're all really fucking strenuous. I just want my flame. Give me my flame. Alright, that's something. Let's go this way. Whenever I say we start a vi video very well, it ends up going downhill. <gasps> Wait a minute. A treasure chest. It might be the key. Oh. I get it. You hate me. Let's go. There we go. Made it. Oh, these guys. All right, cool. We did it. And we got our hearts back. So is that what's up here? Maybe we can... Yeah. Just cut all the bushes. Come on, cut. And a cut. And a cut. Oh, that's all there is? It's bullshit. Oh, hi, spiders. Bam! Don't know how I did that, but I did it. This is probably the way we need to go because it's heavily guarded by spiders. Fatal blow! Wow, that was two spiders. Right in a row. Awesome. We're doing great. Whoa, what is that? Strike the gemstones, pointing in four directions wisely. The way will only open for those who know the temple's secret order. Wait a minute. Is that right? Wait. I don't remember the order. That was all the possible orders. I remember the rear being first. Let's go back! Eh. Oh yeah, we can't go back because this game hates us. So I guess we just go around. Okay, cool, we made it. Okay. I'm gonna find a way to make it easy for me to memorize it. So let's go around. Oh, nice! Okay. Well, let's remember the order. I remember first was rear. Back. Wait a minute, that's not the gemstone order, is it? Carved into the great statue are inscriptions of gratitude. They reveal the secret order of this temple. Back, then rear, then back of the right hand, then back of the... <gasps> the hands! What do I do with the hands? 
Uh, I'm trying to act like I'm figuring things out, but I'm really not. I'm clueless as fucking fuck. I want to just break my own rule and use a walkthrough at this point. I'm, I'm dead serious. Like, I'm getting tired of this puzzle bullshit. Wait a minute. Rear. Gemstones. I just saw a gemstone. Let's go to the rear. Eh. So the rear gemstones first. And this must be the rear. Maybe that was the gemstone that I passed. That was the rear. Let's just keep going. Gemstones around these fucking blobs. I give up. I don't want to do this anymore. Let's just let Zelda die and the world end. I just don't want these flames anymore. I just want to die. I just, is that okay? I just want to die. I don't like this one bit. I don't want your porridge, Grandma. So thanks. Let's just die. I don't know what anything means anymore. Temple sucks. Temple sucks. Dungeon temple. I don't give a fuck. I don't play Zelda. There's probably a reason for it. It's for bullshit like this. Fuck Zelda. I don't even want to play anymore. Uh... Let's go back into that room. That's like the only place for something that's going on. Oh great, another one flipped over. Well, I guess we're just going to be stuck here forever. That was the order. Back, back, right, front. No, no. Fuck! I don't get this fucking... Ugh. Can I just die? Death is so much easier. Then I'll never have to play this game ever again. Because this game doesn't like to tell you anything about what everything is and shit. Because this game is the fucking worst. I, oh, I was having fun. Now I'm having my hate life. I'm having everything that I hate happen to me. I'm getting stuck in a video game. I have to solve puzzles that are very vague. And no one's here to help. And I can't use a walkthrough. Someone in the comments just tell me everything about this fucking dungeon. I'm tired of this game's bullshit. 
read it again. What is the rear? First the back, then the rear. Aren't the back and the rear the same fucking thing? Why do you have to have such a bullshit temple order? Back and the rear, back and the rear. And then it's the back of the right hand and the whatever. So I'm fucking what? Uh, let's go to the back. Whatever. This looks like the back. Let's go back in the rear. Let's just drown to death. Back! Hey look, another bird statue. How do we get up here? Maybe we can go under. You know what? Maybe I could just kill myself. Yeah. This game is bullshit! And we're already out of time anyway. So if anyone can be just as nice and to not make me suffer any more than I did in this episode, you can just tell me all the secrets of this dungeon. It's not a spoiler. In fact, it is a godsend if you help me with this stupid fucking temple. Alex, you told me this was not going to be troublesome. It's nothing but troublesome so far. I don't know what to do. This, I don't know. I hope you get to get up on the right time. See you all next time.